I'm here to talk about Kratom. Um, my story starts when I was in high school and I had severe chronic neck and back pain and I was prescribed opiate pain medications for that pain which I eventually became addicted to and that lasted for many years until doctors stopped prescribing me those medications. Um, I did a lot of doctor shopping and eventually it just went dry. I couldn't get them anywhere and so I had to find something to substitute for my addiction. Um, and when a friend introduced me to Kratom, I really, I thought, oh, this is great. I had no idea what I was getting into. It's, um, Kratom is a, a plant and it is sold as a powder or a liquid in a rather condensed form. So um, while it's a natural product, the way that it's sold in apothecaries and head shops and online is not natural. You're getting a really condensed product. I did start using Kratom as a substitute for Oxycontin and Percocet and it worked. Um, it's an extremely int intense high because it's not only a, a sort of a downer like you would get with heroin, you get a very similar high to what I experienced with Oxycontin and what I have been told heroin is like. And not only that, but it also has an upper value to it. So it, it has like a speed like effect. And so uh, I just became completely dependent upon this um, to the point where I was unable to get out of bed in the morning without having Kratom. If I didn't dose myself every several hours with the Kratom, then I would get severe body aches, cold sweats and shakes um, looking for all intents and purposes exactly like a heroin addict withdrawing from heroin and i mean that was extremely uncomfortable so every morning you know i didn't get out of bed till i i took that kratom um, throughout the day i ha would have to use it i had to use it in order to function at school and then eventually i just became dysfunctional and was you know unable to even attend school, um, all I could really worry about was um, getting my fix. One of the issues with Kratom is that it is sold and marketed as this natural substance. It's a leaf, it's a plant, and it's uh, non-toxic, it's non-addictive, it's organic. Um, it's a miracle <laughs> drug or not even a drug you know if you ask most people it's not a drug at all um, the problem is that none of this is really true uh, while it may be naturally um, occurring the kratom plant by the time you get it on the shelves it's absolutely not that you know health food stores in their vitamin sections you can find Kratom, you can find it in a capsules, in powder, in liquid. Um, the branding on the packages is, you know, very much meant to look like a healthful option for pain management or to help you get off of um, other opiate drugs. And I think there are a few people out there who truly don't realize the impact that Kratom has, the danger that it uh, poses to individuals for addiction. Majority of manufacturers and sellers who are purposefully peddling this as a safe, natural alternative to heroin and opiates and they know fully what they're doing, that this is highly addictive, very dangerous, and can end you up in a world of hurt. I don't know 
exactly how long I was on it. Several years, at least, at least three, maybe more. Um, oh my gosh, such a recluse. I was like a hoarder, a, like I, I couldn't take care of myself anymore, essentially. You know, I, I, I started, when I started using it, it was to, you know, I was unhappy. I was really unhappy in my life. I was in school. I, you know, I was trying to be somebody I wasn't. I was trying to do something that I didn't, wasn't making me happy. And using drugs, using Kratom was a way that allowed me to feel happy whilst doing something that made me deeply unhappy. And, um, that worked at first. It gave me the euphoria and the sort of buzz that I needed to to accomplish those things, um, to get up, to go to school, to come home, to my homework, to go to work, um, to see friends, to be comfortable in social settings. And um, the but the more that I relied on it, the more it took over my life and I then became incapable of doing any of those things without that drug. And then I became incapable of doing those things, period, because you just lose your agency entirely. You give your power over to this drug. Um, you can't, you can't function properly without it. I couldn't get off of it by myself. The withdrawal symptoms were so intense. I, I tried, I tried once, um, I tried several times actually on my own to just stop using it and it was completely unbearable. Just the worst agony I've ever been in mentally, emotionally, physically. And I sought the help of a program in Denver, Colorado, sort of like a private practice for addictions. Um, I had to do like a full week of detox in a hotel room with a, a nurse practitioner. And um, I got off of it for a, a minute there and uh, uh, but unfortunately, I, you know, I, that just took away my coping mechanism. The drug Kratom was my coping mechanism, and so it just took it away. And I wasn't replacing it with anything, so um, it wasn't long before I, you know, relapsed and just started using it again. And uh, that's, you know, I did that at, uh, maybe for another year or two before I found the sanctuary and I came out here and um, they helped me to get clean off of it and um, and to also replace what replace what the um, Kratom was doing for me with other things with other more helpful coping mechanisms.